Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. Have you ever asked yourself, does God have a wife? Hmm, does God have a wife? (laughs) I know this is a funny one. And this is how I'm going to answer it. No, God does not have a wife or consort. Nevertheless, we see some historians have always attempted to support the position that God of the Bible had a wife and that the Old Testament was redated to omit the idea. But the truth is that uh, there is no evidence to support such an, a stance. And the most common assertion is that God and Asherah, who is believed to be a mother goddess found in ancient Semitic religions, were originally a couple in the religion of Israel. But as time passed, Asherah was removed as uh, God's companion. So that's that's, uh, most people believe. But uh, in looking at the Old Testament manuscript, we find uh, absolutely no evidence of manipulation that would delete Asherah as God's wife. However, we do find plenty of evidence showing the opposite, that the God of the Bible never had a wife and never needed even a wife. The Bible clearly presents marriage as something temporary instituted by God for humankind alone. And the origins of marriage are found in Genesis chapter 2 where the Bible says, And the Lord said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him an helper suitable for him. Okay? For man. (laughs) Okay? For man. Because God formed woman as his mate and instituted marriage as a physical and spiritual union between a husband and a wife. And unlike man, God has never been alone. Why? Because God is a triune, being consisting of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He already had a union with himself, and he has always existed in a loving relationship. Therefore, there is no need for God to have a wife or a companion. Further, there is biblical evidence that speaks to the fact that in the eternal state, marriage will become obsolete. <laughs> when Jesus answered a hypothetical question from the Sadducees about marriage in the next life, Jesus said in Matthew 22 verse 30, he said, For the resurrection, in the resurrection they neither marry or are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So in heaven there is no even marriage. So why would God need a wife anyway? The pagan religions often portrayed their false gods as having wives and consorts and love, interests, but the one and true God is unlike the worthless idols of paganism. The book of Jeremiah 2 verse 11, it tells us, it tells us something here that I want you to understand. It says, Has a nation changed their gods, which are yet not gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. Mm. So, in simple terms, there is no evidence to suggest that the God of the Bible has ever been portrayed as having a wife. And uh, moreover, the scriptures demonstrate why God has no need of marriage. And that marriage itself is something designed by God for human beings in this life alone. So God, he doesn't have a wife. He doesn't need a wife. God himself is self-sufficient. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. Hope you've learned something. 
You can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite or subscribe to our channel to always be notified whenever we post a new podcast. And if you like to support this ministry, please use the details in the description below. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.